Hey there, guys. I have another brand new knife to me and kind of new knife on the the market, I guess. I don't know exactly when they came out, but it's from a company called M3 Tactical Tech, Modern Mission Mobility. Um, this is the CCT folder, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Comes in a cool um, cardboard box and has a, you know, just a standard zippered pouch. You know, nothing fancy. Has some pockets, has your, um, you know, silica gel thing, don't eat that. And a plastic bag that the knife actually was in when it first came to me. Put that off to the side. So this came via my buddy Gary. And where did he buy it from? Let me see here real quick. I forgot to look. Um, doesn't really say on the receipt who what, what retailer it was from. Might have just been from M3 Tactical directly. I, I, that I don't know. I don't remember the return address. on the box. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's move on. It's cool. It's interesting. Um, yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's go through the specs real quick. Four and five eighths closed. Eight and a quarter overall. 3.59 inch blade. Behind the edge is 0.022. Uh, I'm going to skip through some of the specs because I don't know that you guys care about every little minute detail. Okay. Um, the blade seal is M390. It weighs in at 5.6 ounces, so a little bit heavier than your D-cell battery. Runs on ceramic bearings, okay? It fits really good in the hand. It feels, like, great. I mean, honestly, it's like it was custom made to my hand. It's locked in and feels really good. This kind of upswept Persian style blade aesthetically doesn't do anything for me. Okay. Now that being said, the finish on this knife, I absolutely love this dark stone wash, if you will. It's like a matte gray. I don't even know really what they call it, not even really stonewash. It's just a matte coated. Um, it is PVD coated on the scales, I believe. I, I read it and now it's just, I'm drawing a blank if it was PVD or DLC, but I'm pretty sure it was PVD. Um, I will say that the inside, which is going to be really hard to show, I felt as though the coating was not quite as full coverage as on the back. And I know you can't see that on camera, but trust me, it is. Uh, titanium pocket clip. Steel lock bar insert. Titanium pivot collars, if I remember. I love the how the blade only has the M390 on it. So it's super sterile blade with their logo on the front. And the jimping up here works great. The fit and finish on this is really nice. These are a limited run of 200. So this is number nine. Uh, well, you can see the number, 94. I would like to say I don't... I wish the number was in a different spot. Now, VC Edge, my buddy Jason, he does the same thing on the interface. And he puts the name of the model and then the serial number on it. Uh, I could do without that also. And I think I've mentioned that in my interface videos. When he did the full dress version, he put that on the inside. So I was super happy about that. If you're going to put it on the outside like this, do it in like a black, a subdued type color that would blend in. That's just my two cents. Okay. The flipper tab, it's it works great. Is it the most comfortable? It's a little pointy and not the most comfortable to deploy. But it works great, okay? So these were also available in 
carbon fiber and it's got a bunch of oils kind of coming out. They kind of put a lot of oil on this in the packaging. So it was kind of like a Protec. I had to wipe it off pretty good when I first opened it out of the package. And then even still today, I'm seeing some oil kind of, uh, you know, kind of coming out through the pivot on both sides from time to time. So they did offer it in a carbon fiber scale on the show side or the titanium. Uh, the CCT name, it is named after a combat controller and I'm not a huge military historian. And so I had to look that up, what CC, CCT was. It's an acronym for the combat controller, which is a U.S. Air Force elite special operations soldier called the combat controller and they would deploy with other units and when they got on location would be the guys that would set up the landing zones and the assault zones and they would handle all the air traffic control type communications and whatnot so if you want more information on that you can look up air force combat controller and get a lot more details, and maybe I misspoke. I'm, you know, that's not my thing. Um, but that's what they named it after. Now, they do have a couple of fixed blade. I think this is their very first and only folder that the company has come out with. There's a bunch of other stuff on their website. They've got some knuckles and some bottle breachers, you know, those sorts of things, a bunch of T-shirts and hats, patches and pins, uh, and then there are a couple of other fixed blades. Their fixed blades also have a very similar style blade shape to them. Um, I think some of their fixed blades had a much broader blades. But yeah, it, it seems like a cool company. It is a cool folder. The pocket clip works well in the pocket. And... I don't really have anything negative to say other than the shape of the blade is just not my thing. Okay. And again, that's a personal aesthetic. I have had a lot of people tell me that they don't like the Hellraiser. Again, personal aesthetics. I have had people comment on the Frank Fisher battle and say it's the ugliest knife they've ever seen. It's on the table over there, so I don't have it to show. But a lot of people also don't like the Shark Nivko Ryu. So personal preference is a thing and it's okay. Just because you don't like the preference, the shape of something, the colors of something, what have you, that is totally okay. D-cell and AA batteries is a little size comparison. Just don't really complain about everybody else that does like a particular shape. So if you like this Persian upswept blade, this is a great option, even though they're sold out of the 200. So yeah, good luck. That was the Spider Godelica. And here is the VC Edge interface. And we'll pull them both out just since I kind of pulled them both out earlier. Again, carbon fiber. This was an option. Would have been a better comparison if they had the carbon fiber. Um, CCT. So, Gary, thanks for sending this over. I will get these boxed up and shipped out to you uh, next week because this was the last knife from Gary that I had. So, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.